So this will be the first video in macroeconomics um, in the IB economics syllabus and I will focus on unit 2.1, um, the level of overall economic activity. This will be the first video of that series. So what are the learning outcomes uh, for this um, video? Well first I'm going to describe using a diagram the circular flow of income in a simple and closed economy. I'm going to identify the four factors of production and their respective payments, and I'm going to explain that these constitute the income flow, and I'm going to outline the income flow and the fact that it's numerically equivalent to the expenditure flow and the value of the output flow. Let's get started. So, in a simple and closed economy, we assume that this economy is closed off from the rest of the world, so there's no foreign sector, and it's simple, so there's no uh, government intervening in the economy. In a simple and closed economy, there should be only two sectors in the economy, the household sector and the business or the firm's sector. So let's look at the circular flow. What happens is that the households, these are the consumers, they are the owners of the factors of production, land, capital, labor, and enterprise. They give their factors of production to the firms, the firms use those factors of production to produce the output of goods and services. So as you can see here, uh, the households give the factors of production. Firms use the factors of production to produce the output of goods and services. This is the output flow. Um, also, there is the flow of money. When the firms receive the factors of production from the households, they in turn, pay them the payments to the factors of production. So labor gets wages, capital gets interest, land gets rent, and enterprise gets profit. So this is the income flow here, which are the payments to the factors of production from the firms to the households. Now, the households take this money, this income, and they spend it on goods and services, which gives us the expenditure flow, the expenditure on goods and services. So... There are four, basically, arrows we need to pay attention to. The first one is the flow of the factors of production. In return, it's the factor payments, which is the income flow. Also, when the firms take the factors of production, they produce output. So that gives us the output flow. When consumers receive the output, they spend money on it, which gives us the expenditure flow, expenditure on goods and services. Now, what, about, what are the assumptions of this circular flow of income model in a simple and closed economy? The first assumption is that it's a simple economy. This means there's no government sector. sector. So there's no taxes and no government expenditure. The second assumption, it's a closed economy. There's no foreign sector, which means there are no exports and no imports. The third assumption is that the households spend all the income they earn. We assume that there are no financial markets, no saving or investment. This is an overly simple model of how an economy works. Now, because we set up this really simple model, in the next video, I will uh, take away some of these assumptions or these limitations of the model and make a model that might be a little bit more realistic. This will be in the next video in the series. Thank you. Have a good one.